Uh, is this even working? Oh dear, I've got a black screen. We got trouble right out of the gate. Oh my word. Um, let me pull it up here. Let's see what I've. How do I have a black screen? What is going on? Um, let's see. Oh. Okay, evidently there is um, something happening. Is it not going? What is going? What is happening right now? Oh my word. You do see, oh, dude, what is going on here? This is crazy. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. I don't know what is even happening. Um, this thing's literally walking away from me. Um, what a great start. What a great start to the, to the live stream. Um <laughs> And I just have a black screen, so I can't see uh, what in the world I'm doing. But let me uh, see the comments here. Um, awesome. What is going on, guys? Uh, hopefully, you're having a good uh, good night. Um, I can't see you or myself. Uh, the vanishing mic. <laughs> basically. Uh, basically. Um, let's see. Uh, American AF, what's going on, sir? First, let's go. He's got the tractor with the little whoosh behind it so that's awesome um i pretty much always use that uh that emoji i put like a smiley face with the sunglasses the tractor and then the like wind blowing behind it so uh, i'm definitely definitely on that train right there uh let's see uh doo -doo -doo. <coughs> i gotta change the uh Thing here real quick there we go there we go so jesus torres what's going on hey we here hey man glad to have you here just wanted to chit chat with you guys about what's going on um i know last week and really this week has been a pretty big uh well jump huge jump in uh in business uh for myself <clears throat> um seemingly first two weeks of march were just i mean just as dead as january february uh kind of were honestly and now we've we've really ticked up a notch um i got a call today from a uh i'm assuming some roofing company uh that was working on a gas station and uh, they said hey is there any chance we can get a, a 10 yard dumpster your smallest dumpster like right now today I'm like dude say less um i am i'm on the way so uh, we had that little pop-up that was uh first <clears throat> same day uh dumpster that was needed um in a little bit but um yeah we uh we've got the books rolling uh, a lot of dumpsters is going to be going out uh through basically the rest of the week uh, pretty much sold out <clears throat> for my cans. Um, and then uh, dump trailers, I've still got uh, a few. Uh, I only have a few of those uh, available, really. But, um, yeah, things are rolling now. Uh, seemingly, the the switch has been turned on. I know a lot of people have kind of just kind of mentioned that uh, in, you know, various uh, conversations. It's like somebody just flipped the switch and, boom, you know, here we are. Um uh, so that's good. good to see that scaling up from, for me, I don't know about you guys, but March, <clears throat> April uh, grows even more. And then uh, May, um, it just goes to the moon just about. So uh, basically from here, from here until 
uh, the end of May, and then it, it dips down just a little bit for me, uh, at least the last couple of years, uh, and then it, it keeps on rising after that. But um, I'm interested to see just looking at my analytics, looking at my numbers from previous years. Uh, now that I've you know been in business uh, a little longer now, like I'm able to see the trend of what does this month look like? What does this you know quarter of the year look like? And be able to you know make decisions, make more better decisions based upon you know what things are really looking like. So um, excited for that. Um, something that uh, uh, I think I even mentioned. Um, I think I mentioned to Josh um, <laughs> to my embarrassment or whatever you want to say. Um, I wanted to hop on here and, and just say it. Um, I actually. Uh, I had some issues with my taillights on the roll-off truck. Um, I uh, originally, when I got the truck, uh, I plumbed in the, uh, I've got two wireless cameras uh, that connect to the uh, little uh, monitor inside the cab. So I can see, uh, and they're both recording as well. I can, ha I can have up to four cameras at once. I can see all four. I can see two. I can see one. Uh, but <clears throat> I had to plumb those into the wiring in the back of the truck. And so I, when I did that, I used uh, heat shrink connectors. Uh, so it's not going to get corroded and not get all nasty. <clears throat> and that worked out great. Well, as of just recently, I, I didn't do anything else in the back of the truck. But as of recently, my taillights have not been working. It was this, just this last weekend. Um, my taillights weren't working. And, uh, which also meant that the connection to my, uh, my cameras weren't working as well because it's based off of the running lights. Uh, I always, I wanted to have that that way because I always want to have my lights on during the day, during the night. I don't care whether it's me or somebody else to be able to have the cameras to work. I want them to be running constantly when the truck is on and I want my lights on period all day long. I, I don't care if I burn through more lights or LEDs. Uh, I want my lights running all the time uh, for simple safety reasons. So um, anyways, I, <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, I, I was just back there, I guess a year and some change ago. Like it didn't look that bad when I was plumbing in those, uh, those connections to the cameras, uh, the positive and, and the, the negative or the neutral. So it's got to be the old, uh, light switch uh inside the cab and it looks beat to death um it looks like somebody was gnawing on it like a hamster or something was just eating at it it's kind of weird <clears throat> i think it just melted or i don't know what happened but um I, I bought that over the weekend off of amazon 20 bucks easy pop out the dash a little bit unplug the harness put the new one in boom 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 good to go um, so I put that in and I turn the switch on and I go to the back and no lights. So anyways, I ended up basically just the other day, uh, ended up taking apart the whole harness because I discovered all of these other connections. Uh, they were using non shrinkable plastic, uh, the almost like a gel type of plastic, um, connectors. And uh, pretty, you know, old school, you know, crimping little connector things. And uh, they were green and blue, corroded, just just toast. And so I ended up having to, uh, I, I did everything. I did all of it. Um, I had to completely, it was a lot of, a lot of connections. Um, redid everything. Got it all working. And in the process of that, all that to say, in the process of doing all that, I discovered on my truck, and this is the embarrassing thing or whatever you want to say, uh, I know I've never owned a truck that um, that had a backup beep, a reverse sound, you know, a reverse horn, I guess. And so I ended up finding something I didn't see before or didn't notice, I guess. Maybe I'm oblivious. Uh, but I found a little box with two lines going to it, positive and negative, and it's mounted there. And one side of it, it looks like a little, almost like a hockey puck, uh, has an opening, and it looks like there's something supposed to, you know, be coming out of it because it's not a fully uh, solid wall of it. And I'm like, wait a second, 
where is this running to? Where's the positive, you know, actually running uh, to on the harness? It's running straight to the reverse light. And then the light, it was one of those slow motion go, where you're like, oh, dude. <laughs> I literally was like, this is a reverse beep light that has evidently never worked. I, my The truck has never beeped. And it's it can only be a helpful thing to have a sound beeping when you're in in reverse backing up. Uh, so I went on Amazon. I found one that sounded like a good beeper. I have no idea. I've never seen them. I've never bought them. Uh, but I bought one, and it'll be here, I believe, tomorrow or Thursday. And so I will be a new person at the transfer station with a reverse beep. And um, I don't know. It's it's a little ridiculous that I'm just now finding out I had one, but it was dead. And I found out where it was. It'll be super easy to swap out, put the new one right there. Uh, I'm excited. It's a, it's a little thing. Uh, definitely a safety thing. Um, I honestly didn't even know how those, you know, I've never looked up close on a truck that had one before, but super duper easy to install. Uh, to do. It's going to be two wires and boom, it'll be done. So um, I'm excited about that. That'll be cool. Super cheap. If you don't have one, um, I would encourage you to to get one. Um, it's, I, I don't know, anybody could just about do it. I mean, you really just have to find the reverse light color. Uh, I believe mine is green. It's like the, I've got a dark green and a blue green. It's the light green. Uh, that is the reverse light, and uh, that's simply going to go straight to the thing, and boom, I'll be good. So um, anyways, didn't know I had one. Doesn't work. Going to replace it. Super excited about that. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> also, um, I've got a <laughs> – on the other side of the truck, uh, my horn. This is going to be a video, and this may be – this is absolutely more embarrassing. So you, you get the free content right here. It's incredible. Uh, good stuff here. Um, I, I have basically a kazoo for a regular truck horn. When I say a kazoo, you know, sometimes I exaggerate on here and I'm silly with people. When I say a kazoo, I am not exaggerating. I am, I am being... <laughs> I don't know if it's going to come through on the video, but I'm going to show you on a video what my horn sounds like. It's got to be an aftermarket thing. It's 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 sketch. Um, it's made for like a Toyota Corolla or something. Like it's embarrassing. Whoever had the truck before and put that there, shame on them. They should have started a GoFundMe page before they put that thing on there. Um, it's it's really embarrassing, um, but. Nevertheless, I'm going to be putting on a real, uh, I guess, an electric air horn, whatever, uh, train horn. or It's not one of those, like, crazy obnoxious ones, uh, but it's it sounds, I think, it's going to sound like uh, a real truck horn. And uh, I'll be I'll be in the, the cool horn club, I guess. I don't know. Sounds kind of weird, but um yeah it's gonna be interesting so if you are interested in content about horns and beeps and all that good stuff i'm when i do the install for both of those uh items i'm going to probably make a video about it and uh share that with you and uh it'll be it'll be something so uh it'll be interesting but yeah uh just wanted to put that out for you um, if, if you, uh, I can do a how to video if, if you're interested, uh, putting a, a horn or even on like a pickup truck, <clears throat> any, any, any vehicle with a reverse light, all, it doesn't have to, it's not super high tech. Literally the beeper will turn on when you put it in reverse. Now I under, also understand that you might not want to do that cause it's more annoying. Um, but, uh, if you want me to do a little how to of that, um, I, I can show, you know exactly what I'm going to do, but um, the whole process, I'm assuming the, the front horn and the rear beeper uh, will be less than an hour to do, probably more time just kind of documenting it, uh, making a video about it. 
uh, than it really is uh, to actually do the job. But um, yeah, that's going to be my uh, either tomorrow or Thursday. I think they both get here at least by Thursday evening. Um, and so I'll probably end up doing that Friday or, or maybe Saturday and record a video. So uh, let's see. We got Andrew. What's going on here from Dallas? What's going on, Andrew? Glad to have you here. Uh, we got Stiggs. What's going on, sir? <coughs> um, choking on something here. For the rest of the year, now that the, the switch has been sort of flipped, I guess. And, um, oh, man, my phone is going crazy. I'm trying to uh, – my screen is black on the, um, the studio version of – this live and my phone that I'm watching myself on is uh, kind of messed up. I, am I coming through okay? Can you hear and see me? <clears throat> is there a delay? Is there an issue going on at all, guys? Um, I hope not, but uh, I don't know. Um, everything should be should be all together. Lagged a little bit, but good now. Okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, I'm on the I'm on the good Wi-Fi, so. Hopefully that does not cause an issue. Good now you're freezing a little bit, but all good. Okay, gotcha. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, just curious for you guys, uh, I'm going to put a poll uh, on the chat here. Here we go. Uh, in your... There we go. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Putting a poll out there, just curious. Uh, have the last two weeks picked up in your business? Yes or no? Uh, I'm just curious about what that looks like for you guys. <clears throat> Oops. Go away. There we go. Uh, let's see. You're free. Oh, it's that Lafayette internet, bro. <laughs> we got fiber, but I'm across the whole house on the Wi-Fi, So it's a little, it's a little sketch. Oh my. Let's see here. All right. We got a couple. Couple yeses, couple no, one no. What's Just curious. What I put a poll uh, to see how people's businesses are. Well, I thought you were saying my that. what? Hmm? Is your your screen black? Yeah, it's black. I don't know. Well, that's what it is. How are you <clears throat> uh, it's working somehow. Uh, up north, what's going on, man? Glad to have you here. What up? Sorry, I'm late. All good. Glad to have it here. We just started just a little bit ago. Uh, I've just been chit-chatting about a uh, future video, uh, about some sound-making machines, I guess. Uh, putting on a new beeper, uh, backup reverse beeper on the truck, as well as a new horn. Um, I basically have a kazoo for my horn on the truck. And although it works, I'm more concerned that the truck would cause somebody to giggle and laugh rather than actually be aware of my presence and safety. So that's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be doing a video in the near future here. Um, oh, Tipito. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Get your other accounts. Sir. Up North is my other channel. Cool. Gotcha. All right. Glad to have it here, man. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, wow. We got, Okay, so we got seven votes out of ten people here. Um, and one of the ten is is me on my phone because I can't actually see uh, see what's going on on the laptop. But um, cool, cool. Uh, seven votes. 86% yes. Seen a pickup in business in the last two weeks. Yeah, seemingly that switch just kind of got flipped. Um, I'm, I'm hyped about it. Yeah. Um, Okay, United Bates, gotcha. I didn't vote. I'm not in the biz. Gotcha. Okay. I appreciate you. Uh, I guess not skewing the results or whatever you want to say. 
Um, cool. Uh, United Baits, are you wanting to get into the business? Or are you just interested in the content? Or um, just curious uh, what, if you're not in the business or not about to be in the business, what's, uh, uh, well, not not to be too blunt, but why are, why are you watching? Why is this <coughs> uh, interesting to you? Just curious. All right. We got all that. I'll probably close the poll down here. Show the results. If that'll even. There we go. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Here we go. Tyler, what's going on, man? Uh, starting to see a few new guys popping up in my area. Springtime brings out the newbies. Oh, man. Um, yeah, so Tyler, um, I made a video about that, I, I think, last spring, um, I believe. Um, I remember the video because it was over. I, did, I made the video in my uh, smaller storage area uh, where I was at. Uh, but um, it, it's interesting to see. Um... <laughs> oh, my word, Timido. <laughs> oh, brother. Uh, it's interesting to see, though, like these new people that kind of pop up, whether in junk removal or uh, in, you know, an actual dumpster rental, you know, usually starting with the dump trailer is what I see the most. Um, <clears throat> but uh, well, honestly, last year, there was a number of new people um, that started up in my area and I saw them for a few months every once in a while. And then they're gone. Just where do you go? And um, this is, I mean, it's just a part of the, it's part of it. It's part of the kind, um, you know, for better, for worse, they didn't have either the financial, st you know, stability to make it happen. They weren't willing to go through a number of hoops to be able to make their business actually grow uh, or a better opportunity, you know, came up, whatever that means. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I can't speak for another, other people there, but um, to me, um, I am, I am the least concerned and maybe that's just easier for me to say in my area. Um, I'm not in a major, major city. Uh, but honestly, um, I am the least concerned about competition than I've ever been probably in my business. Uh, in my opinion, it's very, very low. Uh, my concern simply because not just am I, uh, offering the same dumpster to my customers. Um, it, it's more than just a dumpster is a dumpster is a dumpster. Um, there's better service. There's better, uh, the ability to take away the layers and the obstacles for them to be able to work with me. Um, ideally there's the least amount of obstacles between for them to be able to get to me to say yes, boom, and have exactly what they need as soon as possible or whenever they need. Um, I believe I'm constantly trying to pursue that. I'm always trying to upgrade and build something to be able to make it easier for them. Whether I'm making traction, I I'm, I'm constantly trying to do that. Um, and so uh, simply put, I, I just, I'm, I'm not concerned because they're most of the time, the majority of people, uh, if, if we were making so much crazy money and it was that easy, everybody would be doing it. The fact is, not everybody is doing it. Most people do drop out. Most people can't take the heat, can't take the whatever, and they don't make it more than who knows how many years, probably less than five. So, which I'm still underneath. I'm at four, what, four years now? Um, so it, it's, it's been a process. It's been, it's pretty, you know, been pretty hot in the kitchen. Uh, but we're still rolling and I'm, I am determined. I'm, it's not a matter of if it's when I win, when I continue to build and grow, like there may be obstacles in my way, but it, it's going to happen. I, I'm telling you the future. It's going to happen because I'm willing to find a way, no matter what comes up in between me and that success, it's going to happen just watch. And so it may not be as fast as other people or other things. That's not my problem. It's not my journey. This is, this is my journey. 
Um, so it, it's just that easy, um, which, I mean, it's not easy, but <laughs> it's the process. So, um, yeah, uh, Tyler, yeah, to your point, springtime brings out the newbies. For me, I just, I, I slightly cringe for them because I'm concerned because, like, man, you don't know what you don't know. And for you to get to where I'm at down the road and, and build something, like, it's either going to take a lot of money or a lot of time. And most people don't have enough of one of those to make it happen. And uh, so I kind of cringe for them. It also kind of commemorate, you know, what I've been through in, in the past, you know, several years here. So <clears throat> uh, let's see, Mr. Trash, what's going on, man? Uh, does your transfer station or landfill charge extra for mattresses? No. Um, I, I have two transfer stations nearby any other place is way, way too far away. Uh, and it would just, it would not make sense to go there at all. Um, they do not charge extra for mattresses at all. Uh, what they do charge extra for is <clears throat> car tires. I believe it's $30. Truck tires are $40. Freon, I'm sorry, refrigerators are free on, uh, uh, Refrigerators or uh, I can't even think of the word freezers. Wow, <clears throat> they charge uh, what is it seventy dollars if there's no Freon in the refrigerator or freezer, and then a hundred and thirty dollars if there is Freon in the system. Um, Obviously, no wet paint or dangerous chemicals, all that, all the stuff you can't have. Uh, but basically, uh, those are the three big no-nos uh, for us. Uh, mattresses don't care at all, uh, which is, I'll take it. <laughs> so, uh, Thibodeau, hey, Daniel, swing that podcast mic out here so Josh can see what a real podcast mic looks like. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um it's got a little dust on here now, but um, this is this is the mic that I use. Um, bibbidi bobbidi boo. Um, I've got this connected here on the little arm thing. Uh, it grabs on to the desk, and then I've got the the cord running off, off to the side, and then the, the actual uh, audio in, and everything is is uh, connected over here to my side, and uh, and then I run basically a cord back to plug into my laptop, and I've got the laptop raised up a little bit, so. Um, that's what I've got <laughs> for my setup here. I've got it to where I do have two, uh, mic, uh, I could have two mics. Um, and at one point I did have a second mic, um, <clears throat> on my other channel for RV transport. When I was doing that, before I started this business, um, I did a couple interviews and, uh, I wanted to have two mics for, you know, two people. And so, um, since then I actually gave that other mic, and the cable and everything to my dad because he's starting a, a YouTube channel and uh, he'll be doing that uh, sometime soon. But um, yeah, so right now I've just got the one mic and I think all together, this is a couple hundred bucks. It's, it's nothing crazy um, for all the trouble I get. I, I mean, it's amazing that I've had issues uh, between video and audio. Sometimes the audio cuts out. Um, I think, and that's a YouTube issue, not this, but um, anyways, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I hear, I hear Josh's stuff online perfectly fine. So I don't know. Um, this works, but other stuff works too. So I'll put this off, off the side a little bit. <coughs> uh, let me catch up here, guys. Um, Tommy, I'm in Massachusetts. Gotcha. Gotcha, Tommy. Very good. Uh, Tipito, all of my New guy types went out of business last year. Should be slimmer this year. Thibodeau, I think every year there's just going to be a couple. There's 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 going to be some who you know people think, oh, this will be a, a easy, quick little side hustle, and they find out to really scale and make you know a decent amount of money for a little side hustle, it it turns into a legitimate business, and it's going to take a whole lot of more upfront effort uh, to make it happen than just a side hustle, cute little, you know, buy a truck, buy a trailer and just kind of make it happen. Um, idea. So they'll, they'll be back. They'll be back every year. 
<clears throat> and they'll be gone by the next year, probably. Um, United Bates, um, yeah, both been watching videos on the dumpster business for years, uh, different channels, but you are all just great, down to earth, and relatable. Um, man, I try to be. Um, you get what you get with me. Um, good, bad, and sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh but i appreciate you watching and uh man good stuff good stuff um, a lot of good channels a lot of good channels out there <clears throat> um i keep forgetting to do it uh what i want to do is uh and i've i've said this before but um uh on well it only really matters if somebody goes to my channel page or whatever on youtube uh, but I want to put a list of every single YouTube channel that I know of that is doing dumpsters uh, and put them on the channel's list. You can you can recommend other people or put a, a list of other YouTube channels that you are in line with or whatever you want to say uh, together. So I want to put a whole list of everybody. Um, it's not as if you can't look it up yourself, you know, other channels, but. Um, wanted to do that just to point other people because there's other people doing doing great content. Uh, Tommy, in my transfer station, charges a hundred and hundred and twenty five dollars per mattress or box spring, bro. I'd be cutting that thing in half, shredding it. That is crazy. Wow. Um, yeah, I'd be slicing and dicing a mattress and box spring, at least the box spring. Uh, <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Um, it, Tommy or anybody else, what would justify $125 for that? Like what, what's literally, what's the big deal for that? I, I don't understand what, what that would cause. I understand like tires. Uh, our, our transfer station says that, um, and I didn't know this before getting into the industry, but tires, full tires themselves, because of the gases and pressure at the transfer state or at the landfills is what they say. The tires will build up pressure, especially when it gets hot, I guess. And the tires will shoot out of the ground because it's fully it's like its own, you know, it's under pressure and somehow that pushes things up and that causes a problem somehow. I've never heard that before. I've only heard that from my transfer station. That's how they justify it. If you bring a tire that is cut up in pieces, it's free or it's the regular, you know, weighted price. But if you literally bring a tire they're charging you extra because they say it's more trouble at the landfill. The landfill charges them more for the tire because the tires get pushed to the surface, which sounds pretty bizarre. I don't know, like a Mythbusters thing. I have no idea. Uh, sounds, sounds like a joke to me, but that's what they say. And people come in and they shred their tires uh, or they pay through the nose. Um, crazy, crazy, crazy to me. Um, man, um, uh, American half laughing at Thibodeau. <laughs> now debates, uh, Josh was one of the first I started watching and I'm considering getting into it. Definitely more serious now, but want to make sure it's right for me. Uh, United Bates. Yeah, man. Um, there's, there's only so much research you can do until you got to pull the trigger. Obviously I, I wouldn't you know, encourage somebody to, if they don't feel comfortable, uh, to, to start the business, uh, to, you know, push them. But, um, you know, it's like the guy who's researching, uh, well, any, I guess anything, uh, you know, you can only research so much until you actually execute and do something. Um, so maybe you're, you're not to that point yet, but, um, honestly, <clears throat> it's, um, it's a process. You need to know your numbers. You need to know what's what your overhead would be to start out with. Just a number of different things. Um, but uh, man, there's it can be done. But the, one of the biggest questions is, in my opinion, 
is if you don't know what you don't know now, are you willing to actually find answers? Um, are you the type of person, you know, with the personality who is going to just say, well, this is too hard. I, I really, you know, it, the, the, at the moment of resistance that you get in your business, you, you, you're having trouble with something. You're, the cost is, you know, outweighing the, your actual, uh, you know, profit, like what's going on in your business. And if you can't figure it out, if you're not willing to push, to give push back and to ask the ugly questions and do research and, you know, dig deeper, if you can't do that, probably any business wouldn't be right for somebody, right? Because every business is going to have its obstacles. You've got to find a way to navigate those things. So if, but you, if you are that person who can navigate, can, you know, persevere, uh, it's like kind of what I mentioned before, like, it's not a matter of if I'm going to win, it's just how long does it take me to get there? How long is it going to take me to find a way to make this work, to, to figure out marketing, to figure out, you know, what avenues work best for you in your area. If you're not willing to have the patience, you're going to be angry, bitter, and, you know, people throwing the towel and, uh, um, not everybody has to, but, uh, I think that's one of the, one of the biggest questions, um, we've got to consider before we start, you know, an, uh, an adventure, but also a venture, you know, it's, it's a real thing. <clears throat> um, I feel like I've been through like <laughs> way more shenanigans than I should have at this point. And, uh, I'm just, I'm, uh, it's, it's just going to happen. Um, it's just a matter of time. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, where am I at? Even just a clean dumpster in good condition helps set you apart. Boom. Absolutely. Um, I've been, I'm one of my goals for this year, trying to be creating new habits is no matter what, taking a broom to the dumpster. I do have a small little, um, it's not really a leaf blower. It's too small, but um, I've been cleaning out the cab with it, but also blowing out dumpsters with it. Uh, I'm sure this summer it'll definitely be a lot more rather than in the winter, but um, brooming out the dumpsters and taking a little uh, sort of leaf blower uh, to the dumpster to try to clean out as much as I can. Um, that's that's one of those small things that really is a big thing um, because if if they use you once and you know they saw you, they don't they've never rented a dumpster before. They use another guy next and they see oh. Oh, that's a thing. They're going to notice the little things. And uh, besides communication and, and other you know, ease of, of use with you, um, I, I think that's absolutely a thing. Um, Tyler, same here. Been in dumpster business for two years and agree customer service is top priority. Yeah, um, it's, you know, b besides all the things you can do, the communication, uh, being able to take away barriers for them, making sure they know that they're going to be taken care of. You've communicated all these things well to them. Like uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes things can fall through the cracks. We're humans. Um, we're we're going to fail <laughs> sometimes, hopefully less, you know, as we go. Uh, but the truth is like it, it's, it's going to come down to that, that, you know, oftentimes people don't remember, uh, what people say, but how they felt when they worked with you. Did they, did they feel comforted and put at ease with, you know, how things went? Um, I, I, I really think that's, that's going to set you apart. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll stop, stop blabbing about that, but, uh, let's see, American AF, I wouldn't even know how to check if there is Freon in a fridge or not. And that honestly, so for me, um, that does come up somewhat often because a lot of people are trying to get rid of old beat to death refrigerators that haven't run in 20 years. Uh, and what normally I tell them is, listen, uh, the transfer station may or may not check when I'm there. Um, uh, we want to, just so you know, if I do pick this up and you put this in the dumpster, um, we're... I'm going to tell you it's going to be $130 unless they come over and inspect it. Oftentimes it's, it's really on the honor system. There's not enough guys there at the transfer station. 
there's usually three to four guys working there. It's a small transfer station. I don't live in a huge mega city. Uh, there's like three or four guys working and usually they're working hard. Uh, they're doing everything. And um, so I, I probably could get away with a, a number of different things. Um, I don't, if there's tires, I tell them, I charge the customer. The customer already knew. I verbally told them they've been, it's in written form, all of that. Like it is what it is. Uh, but I tell them worst case scenario, I want to make you sure, you know, like if you don't know, if I don't know, like we're, we're going to go with the safe route 130. Um, and if, if they look at it and they say, no, it's, it's fine. It's empty. You know, okay. 70 bucks. Cool. Uh, it's either 60 or 70, but we, we can go with the lower option. But um, yeah, most people uh, to your point, uh, Josh, yeah. Um, <laughs> what in the world? What? Like, yeah, that's uh, those systems are closed systems. So unless they took a sledgehammer to it, assume there's something in there, maybe even if it doesn't run anymore, um, probably something's going to be in that, that Freon system. Um, Zeus, uh, hi, hi, Dan. You never updated the video about the door hangers. Oh man. Uh, so the door hanger situation, um, I have been doing that off and on sporadically. Uh, when I have been slower or you know not as busy running around, um, I have not had that much of a response, to be honest. Um, I did see somebody, I think it was in one of the, uh, the Facebook groups, it might have been Dumpster Rentals uh, 101, um, talk about that. It might have been DRS, I can't remember. Uh, but they talked about door hangers, and they said you'd be lucky if you got one out of 100. And if that's the case, as far as I know, um, I think I've only had a few people who had uh, my code to be able to track, you know, where the rental came from, came from, from an online booking. Um, I've only had a handful. Of so uh, tracking other places. So I think it would skew my numbers to be able to make a video and say, hey, this is how much the door hangers have brought me back. I, I don't want to come close to suggesting, oh, this is an absolute thing. Like I, I can't give that confidence. So I have not updated that video. I do want to, uh, along with my new logo, uh, that's going to be coming out here pretty shortly. Um, I, I do want to do all new door hangers, put a different code on there. That's only for door hangers. So I can't skew the data. Um, I'll know how many I actually put out. I want to do better tracking with that when I do drop off a dumpster and go to the house next door on either side and stuff. Um, I wish I had more of a response to you, uh, but I just, I, I don't want to guess and, and give false hope or, you know, steer you the wrong way either way, I guess. So um, that's why there's not an update um, this year. I plan to take more action with that. Um, I think it's, it's absolutely uh, I, I want to find out if it's a joke or not, <laughs> you know? So, uh, hope that's, a uh, a good thing this year. Uh, Thibodeau, he runs a road, so it's okay. Oh, it, he runs a, wait, what am I, what am I reading? He runs a road, so it's okay. Eight, not item. What? Uh, Tipito, I'm I'm lost. Hold on. That list would be awesome. I'm having trouble getting traction with my channel. Um, did I miss something? Oh, oh, oh! I'm okay. I'm with you. Uh, put it. Yes, yes. You will be on the list. Everybody that I know that I know will be on the list. Um, yeah. I, I, you will definitely be on that list. I just need to actually do it. It's fairly simple. I just, I think I just literally look up the name and then I can uh, do the little at thing and then your channel will show up on the list of that. So um, I'll probably do it alphabetical order and just put everybody on there and boom, here you go. Um, this is everybody else that I know of. Get help. Um, I'm not the only dude, obviously. And uh, there's a lot of people trying to share, you know, information to us. So um Everybody's got something to add. Absolutely. Uh, Tommy, that's what I do. I charge the rate and cut them up myself when I have like five or six. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, Tommy, I've considered that currently right now. Um, it hasn't been worth my while, <laughs> seemingly, uh, to have to go do that. But 
maybe that's in the future. Um, usually they'll put the, like the tires lower in the, tra in the dust or your trail or whatever. I'm like, come on, dude. Like, <laughs> um, wow. That's, uh, and to drag it out from underneath the whole pile and stuff. Like, I know you were trying to hide the tires. Like, no, because you did that. You're, you're going to get hit right now with it. So, um, amazing. Um, I'd made great feedback. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Midnight oil. What's going on? What's up all? Hey, Dan, what is your favorite customer? Uh, so my favorite type of customer, um, I mean, my, Um, it, it, as of right now, I've had great success with one roofer. I think he's kind of, uh, brought his dumpster needs in house. So he's not actually using me right now. There's some other people who have used me at other times, but, um, I've got one major customer, um, that's just started using me halfway through the year last year. Um, literally he'll text me and say, I need one tomorrow or whatever day and he'll send me the address and I say, you got it. And he'll, it just happened the other day. He literally texted back after I said, you got it. Uh, I can't remember what I said after that, but something to confirm all that more. And he literally sent a picture or a thing. He said, you equals. And then he had the little emoji of a goat. <laughs> you the goat and he said that a number of times <laughs> and i'm like i got you dude all good like that that style of being able to the ease of working with somebody of course the repeat customer literally he just says an address he knows i know he wants a 20 yard dumpster he's never used anything less um if i don't have one available He's willing to make a 15 work uh, potentially, but um, I know he wants a 20 yard. He sends me an address. He says, you the goat. <laughs> and I'm just like amazing charge, charge the card on file done. Beautiful. I mean, it just, it does not get, he I say on those things. Like we, we never have an issue. There's been some times where I have had, uh, my water pump on my truck was uh, in the middle of summer, had some issues. Um, he was very accommodating for that. He's like, dude, I, and I need for tomorrow. I would do it myself. And he's like, dude, I actually believe you. I think he texted this back. I was like, I do believe you would pick up that dumpster on your back and bring it to that house. If you could, he's like, we're all good, dude. I trust you do what you can when you can. I'm like, all right. Um, so that's that type of relationship with a customer repeat. I know what he wants. He knows what I provide, how I do things. We're on the same page. I text pictures to him. We confirm everything. Boom, boom, boom. Just super duper easy. Um, outside of that type of working ongoing relationship, um, I would say, well, anybody who's a repeat customer that we've, we've had, We've ironed some things out. I would definitely appreciate that. But most of my customers are, are first time uh, dumpster renters. Um, and it's at their home. They're cleaning out a house. Somebody passed away, that type of a situation. And they're cleaning stuff out. They got to do it. Or they're moving. Um, moving uh, people who are moving, uh, even realtors will call and say, Hey, we need a dumpster. Like right now, uh, they're closing tomorrow. There's still some junk, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you got it. Boom. I'm there. Um, being able to have those kind of quick price is not even a concern. Um, I think I earlier, I, I mentioned earlier today, um, there was a company that called me, they're working at the circle K, uh, just on the edge of town. And, uh, they said, what's your smallest dumpster? We've, you know, we've got some material we need to throw in. It's like, oh, just some leftover scraps and stuff. I'm like, okay, $300 for the 10 yard, uh, three days, one ton included. It's five miles away. Uh, great. Boom. Done. Paid immediately over the phone, dropped off 
today uh, at like two and uh, they've, they're going to be putting foam and a little bit of uh, evidently some shingles, which uh, I saw the foam. It's a lot of foam. So very little shingles, I believe. Uh, they redid the roof on a little storage area, but um, basically it's going to be, I, I still think it's going to be under one ton for the shingles and the foam. Super easy pickup, uh, grabbing that on Friday and it's just going to be a smooth thing. Uh, those types of customers where it's just, we don't even care what the price is. We don't even, we just have to have this done now. And, uh, when I got the, to the onsite, uh, the guy there, he just said, yeah, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the gas station people said, yeah, we, uh, if we tear this off, we have to dispose of it. If we, if we don't want to get rid of it, we can, we have to put it back on. And I don't understand why you would do that or what's even involved with that. But the, he, he basically told me, he was like, we're getting rid of it. We're not putting that stuff back on. I'm like, I don't know what you did, what your project is, but yeah, I wouldn't either. I <laughs> Let's get rid of the old stuff and keep the new stuff. So um, easy, easy stuff there. Uh, Tommy, uh, they're supposed to put a special orange paint if they recover the fence. Down legally here. Oh. Okay, gotcha. Um, huh. The Freon, is that is that what you're saying? Uh, the Freon from a refrigerator or a freezer. Uh, they're supposed to, to mark it up with orange if they've recovered it properly. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't do that here as far as I know. Um, I've never seen that. Uh, Tommy, I was talking... Talking mattresses before, but I love tires. Transfer station charges 30 to 40. Yep. Uh, but I'm friends with a tire shredder. He takes them for free. I still charge what the transfer station charges. Wow. There you go. Hey, uh, it pays to, to know the right people. Uh, I know there's a few tire places that would probably do that in town. Um, I've never reached out, but maybe I should. Um Extra 30, 40 bucks. Absolutely. Uh, but that does add a little bit of a, you got to dig them out. You got to uh, store them. You got to keep them somewhere. Uh, make a big trip over to wherever every once in a while, or, you know, fill up a dumpster. If you have a spare one, not going to be used, something like that. But uh, that's great. I mean, that's still making money. Um, if, it, if it works for you, then it works. That's awesome. Man. Cool. Well, guys, uh, we've been on here for 53 minutes. Um, I appreciate you being here, chit-chatting with me. Um, if you got anything else to say, I'm I'm all ears. We'll talk about more. But if not, uh, it's 10 at uh, 1024. Uh, I better hop off here. I've got uh three drop-offs tomorrow. Um, they are all two of them are a little further out, one of them's close, and um uh, should be should be interesting. Uh, Junior Sanchez, Daniel, you know of any websites to search for trailers? Um, so as far as trailer manufacturers, like dump trailers or roll off trailers, um, what are you, what are you asking for? I, my recommendation as far as a dump trailer, um, the, the only one I've had success. Oh, roll off. Okay. Um, well, I know, uh, what Keystone down in Texas, they have, a, a roll off trailer now. Um, my understanding is uh, Josh at American AF, he's got the hook lift. So, depending on if you're going to hook or uh, cable, um, he's got the hook lift uh, trailers now uh, going forward uh, as a distributor for them uh, for Can Concept. So, uh, I would reach out to American AF dumpsters for that. Um, I know there's uh, what Bison dumps. Uh, uh, what is it bison dumpsters or something like that? I've heard of those. Uh, there's uh, PJ. I mean, there's a lots, lots of places out there uh, that, that are making these. Um, I would just say, you know, go for quality rather than, you know, the lowest possible price, but uh, uh, lots of, lots of options out there. Uh, but I do think there's, there's definitely some that are <laughs> better than others. I'm sure. Uh, Tommy, thanks. Have a good night. Hey, you too, man. 
Appreciate you being here, hopping on. Um, let's see. Thibodeau, I just quit my full-time night job, so I should be able to catch your weekly lives. Yeah, man. Um, normally, I would do a little earlier. I started at 9.30. Uh, honestly, I was way late finishing up tonight uh, with other dumpsters, so um, I, I probably would have started at like 6 or 7 Eastern time, uh, but I was way late. Um, so, um, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, and I want to start scheduling them out a little bit. So people actually have a chance to like, oh yeah, that's a thing it's coming up, you know, uh, stuff like that to be notified. So, um, do, 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 dumpsters and YouTube full time now, wish me luck. Let's go baby. Yeah. It's, it's amazing what can happen when. You know, not that other things were bad things necessarily, but when you're allowed to just focus on the main thing and uh, all your energy, your extra time, your extra thoughts, ideas, your planning, all that can come together and you just go after one thing. Um, I'm, I'm torn with, with that a little bit. Sometimes I've had some other side ideas I, I thought about, but um, right now, I just I want to focus on my my one thing and and get better in my efficiency and productivity, all that stuff. Um, so I, I'm with you, dumpsters, and sharing the journey on YouTube with other people, trying to help out, share all the the bonehead mistakes that we make and the successes that we've had, and be able to encourage other people and go out there and kill it. So um, I'm definitely with you, uh, Tibino, and uh, good luck to you, man. Uh, thank you, sir. God bless. Hey, you too, man. Thank you guys for being here. I'm going to hop off. Um, I don't know why in the world my screen is still black on my laptop. Uh, I'm looking at my phone right now, <laughs> but uh, appreciate you guys being here. We'll be here uh, next week, Tuesday, earlier, hopefully, uh, than, than uh, 930 start time. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Be safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you. <clears throat>